Hi there. Gordy from Rain Brothers LLC here, based right out of Columbus, Ohio. I've been doing rainwater harvesting for over five years, and I know what works well and what doesn't work well. And what I got here is the most affordable, easiest to make DIY rain barrel on the market. Now what I have here is the Rain Brothers Rain Barrel DIY Diverter Kit and a 55 gallon drum. And I'm gonna show you how you can use our kit to convert any drum like this, or a trash container, or an oak barrel, or any type of container into a high quality rain barrel. Okay, this here is everything that comes in the diverter kit and is available at our website at www.rainbrothers.com. And we're just gonna do a quick inventory here. First thing we have is the diverter. This is the piece that we're gonna put into the downspout that's gonna divert all the rainwater to the barrel. And then once full, it's gonna back up and go down this diverter through your downspout. We have a spigot here. Uh, three quarter inch so you can hook it up to a hose or just fill up a pail with it. We have a drain plug that you can put at the bottom drain out the barrel. Uh, you can also put another gate valve on this and hook up a soaker hose. We've got two threaded grommets. This is for the spigot as well as the drain plug. We have a rubber grommet right here. This is what you're going to put the hose into to feed the water into the barrel. We have a winterization cap. In the winter, you're just going to take your diverter out of the downspout and you put this winterization cap over. We've got three self-tapping screws. And finally, we have the hose, which is going to hook up from your diverter and go into the inlet into the rain barrel. Now we're ready to start construction on the rain barrel. Now this kit comes with three different sized hole saws to do our installation. And this makes this different than any other kit on the market right now because it includes everything needed to complete an installation. So I'm going to start with the smallest hole saw and we're going to drill the holes for the spigot and for the drain plug. Okay, now we have the two holes marked here for the drain plug as well as the spigot. And we've made sure to keep it pretty central just to keep our rain barrel looking nice. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the two holes for the drain plug and the spigot. Fairly easy. Two holes drained for the drain plug and the spigot. I've switched out my hole saw to the medium sized one and I'm ready to drill the hole for the inlet. Just pick up my barrel. Now, there's a lot of flexibility of where you could put your inlet at. You can do it either on the sides or even the front, or whatever works best. I'm going to put mine on the back. Now we want to put this somewhat close to the top and I'm going to put mine in the center of the back. Okay, so we have our inlet hole drilled with the medium sized hole saw. Okay, so I have all my holes drilled and now I'm going to put my grommets in. I'm going to start with the inlet grommet that goes on the top and the back. And if you push it in just a little bit, it helps to get it in there. Okay, I have it in now, and I want to make sure that all the sides are aligned with the hole. It's in there good. Now I'm going to put my two threaded grommets in for the spigot and the drain plug. Okay, so we have our grommets in and we're ready to put the spigot and the drain plug in. And when we put them in, we want to screw this pretty slowly because we want to be careful not to cross thread it and tear the threads. Okay, I know that it's lined up, so I can go ahead and screw it all the way in.
And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing with my drain plug. Start off slowly. Once you're lined up, go ahead and screw it all the way in. Okay, now that we have our rain barrel built, I'm going to show you how our diverter works. And this is really a great design. It's one piece, made of rubber, and it has these lips that fit to the inside of the downspout. And most of the water coming down the downspout clings to the wall, so this collects all the water and then diverts it first to the rain barrel, and then once it's full, it backs up and goes down this hole. This also allows debris to go through to prevent clogging. So if you come on in, I'll put it in and show you exactly how it works. I've already drilled the hole with our largest size hole saw that comes with the kit, and really, I just had to put it in and it's installed. If you come in, you can see exactly how it works. Now this works a lot better than conventional diverters. This is one easy process of just drilling one hole and then putting the diverter in. Whereas with other diverters on the market, you have to make multiple cuts after cutting your downspot in half, fitting the diverter in, and then also cutting out a section to put the diverter for the overflow. And you also notice with this diverter, there's a much larger outlet than on this one here. So not only does this work with 2x3 downspouts, but it's also adaptable for 3x4. If you have these larger downspouts, instead of putting the diverter in the front, you would simply drill a hole on the 3 inch side and it would fit perfectly right in there. Now this is an advantage to the other diverters on the market because this simply won't work with a 3x4 downspout. As you can see, this is much too large to get into a conventional diverter. Now we're ready for installation. And this really is the most important part of the installation, the drilling of the hole on the downspout for the diverter. It's very important that you make sure that this hole on the downspout is level with your hole on your rain barrel. This is important because water is self-leveling. And if you have a hole that's too low, the water will never get to the rain barrel. And if you have a hole that's too high, you risk it having too much water going into the rain barrel and possibly spilling over if you have an open top container. Now I've pre-drilled this hole already, so we're ready to put our diverter in. It's going to go to the rain barrel. Now that I have my hole drilled, I'm ready to put in my diverter. Easy installation. Now I'm just going to take two of my tap screws and screw them into the top and the bottom to help secure the diverter. Now we're ready to connect our diverter to our downspout with a three foot hose that comes from the kit. Now this hose has three different or two different sections where you can cut it to length to connect your diverter to your barrel depending on where you decide to put your barrel at. Got in the downspout there. Sometimes it's hard to get in, but it should be a snug fit. If you have trouble getting it in, let the hose sit in the sun for a little bit, and that'll make it easier to push it in. Okay, now we have it connected, and we're gonna move the barrel so that the line is pretty taut. pretty long, but you could cut it right here or here to bring the barrel closer to the downspout. So there you have it, our rain barrel is installed. As you see it looks great, it's extremely easy to install, it works with a variety of different downspouts, and it's hassle free, you don't have to run around to all the hardware stores to get all the different parts you need. You can just go to our website at www.rainbrothers.com 
this kit for a very inexpensive price. It has everything you need to make a barrel, and literally you can do this in about five minutes. Very simple.